what's up y'all how is everyone how are you guys excuse my hair y'all i i redid my braids y'all and except i didn't get a chance to do the middle part <laughs> I think the middle gonna stay like that because I honestly do not have the time. Y'all, I got so much to tell you guys. Like, should I leave this out? That's kind of cute, right? Should I leave that out? I need to do my lashes real quick. So, I don't I don't even know where to start. Hold on, let me go get my chapstick because I'm gonna keep looking my lips. Whew. I'm sorry y'all, I just have to get naked real quick. <laughs> because I, I just get so hot, like, I be thinking about so much and I really just be pacing in the house and like, I get so hot while I'm thinking. So I think that's why I'm always naked or like just got a um, sports bra on, but oh my gosh hey what is going on with y'all i hope everybody is doing good i hope everybody's family is good um see hopefully that looks a little better let me scoot the camera back all right y'all so how is everyone i hope everyone is doing amazing i hope everyone is accomplishing their goals that they set forth for this new year oh my gosh like i am just like elated like i i could cry right now. like y'all i am li <laughs> i am getting emotional right now just because like i am so excited like i have so much going on and the fact that i'm getting it done and the fact that like it's slowly but surely happening I want to tell y'all some stuff, but I cannot share it with y'all. I cannot share it right now. I promise that I will share it. You guys will know um, everything once it's out there, once I put it out. But I just want to make sure that it's planned perfectly. It goes right. Everything is good. Um, but I am just so proud of myself. I can't believe like I'm doing this. I'm getting everything done that I set out to get done like everything that's on my list and even things that i didn't know that i could do like or make possible i'm getting it done and i'm so proud of myself like everything is is not perfect but it's falling into place it's falling into line so i'm happy about that and like i said i just hope that everyone is staying productive and just conquering and smashing and hitting every goal that they set forth y'all um that's why i try to keep y'all like up to date and just um that's why i try to spread like words of encouragement to you guys because i know it's not easy i know it's hard especially us as parents um it's super super hard like when you got kids or even just one baby i have one toddler one not toddler but infant still he's only he's almost 10 months but it's so hard when you have a kid and you don't have everything together and trying to reach that point it just makes it so much more harder but the outcome in the long run just makes it so much more worth it so i'm trying not to get emotional but man i'm just so proud of myself and just so happy with this journey um but anyway so today is going to be like a pre <laughs> so the point of this vlog is to show you guys my productivity routine how i'm staying productive how i'm staying active how i'm doing all these things and so forth so like i said it's definitely not easy i still gotta do my lashes like i do everything myself so just imagine if you had to be your own nail tech your own lash tech your own beauty your own um hair person just imagine if you had to be um like all of those things you know what i'm saying like it's definitely not easy i do not like the way this little thing is curling up my braid is so funny just imagine like if you had to do all those things by yourself like i said be your own nail tech your own lash tech your own hair person to get like to do your hair beauty fitness guru um to yourself for yourself so it's you gotta just keep yourself going you know so basically we are in the transition of well we already 
started um putting bobo he he got his own room a couple of days ago and i have to show you guys his room but it's not put together how i want it to be just because he's not at the age of like learning his abc's one two threes and all that stuff so it's not really like a baby room and then i didn't want to go overboard with like baby stuff because that stuff just piles up and we don't have money for that right now but um yes yeah, so bobo got his own room and that was a transition like I'm not ready for my baby to grow up I was taking it hard kind of like I'm like are we putting him in his own room it, it was time but you know mommy want to hold on to her baby forever like that's like a it's just it's just accepting him growing up and I mean like when you say it when you're not a parent it sounds super easy but then when you are when you do become a parent like you realize like oh my baby is not going to be a baby forever you know he gonna have to grow up he or she is gonna have to grow up and then they start doing little things like he's already walking around the house oh my god I'm finna cry <sighs> He's already walking. He's already like doing everything on his own. And soon he won't need me. Like he's just going to be like doing everything by himself. And I'm not ready for that. I mean, I want him to be super independent. I want him to be self-sufficient, independent, um, smart, just everything. I want him to be just this, you know, um, self-sufficient person but like it's so early like you know what i'm saying so i know that with work and everything i won't always be there for him or like i'll always be there for my baby y'all y'all know if y'all don't know like the type of mom i am i'm like you know i'm that mom i'm all up in your business i'm gonna be there every step of the way i'm not gonna overstep or be intrusive but best believe he gonna know the love that i have for him and the support that he has um but yeah like he's already just this independent little baby and you know i just want to like i just want to protect him from the world and you know when you think about it it just make you kind of emotional like you know we're gonna be separated at times and um he gonna have to go to school and meet friends and you know interact with other kids and stuff and I just you know I want to be there for all those moments and I know that I can't so um or I won't be able to so oh my gosh I'm really crying <laughs> let me just grab a shirt <laughs> I'm sorry y'all my baby he's getting so big I can't believe that. And then I'm just emotional too. Because like I said. Oh, let me try to fix myself. <laughs> I need some water. I need some water. I need some water. Alright. Excuse me. Let me stop talking about that little boy because <laughs> obviously, obviously, I love my baby, okay? Um, okay, so, yes, y'all. Um, other than that, other than my baby growing up and being independent and self-sufficient and possibly, um, I didn't mention this to you guys, but I'm thinking about putting Bobo into daycare um, just because I have so many things that I'm working on and that um needs attention and that needs my you know my attention my energy my time and time is just so precious that you know you want to um take full advantage of it and you want to make sure that um you're just utilizing it in the best way and so I know that like y'all I'm about to share some things with you guys um <laughs> So I ended up um, getting someone, I don't know if you guys seen my last vlog towards the end, there was a special announcement that I made and everything. So basically the last time that I was in a gym, or not the last time, but during that time that I um, did the vlog, 
I had went to the gym. Mind you, it wasn't the gym that I uh, usually go to, but it was a gym out in the city. And um, yeah, I met this lady there and she was just like so sweet, super nice, so observant and everything. And she just came up to me and she was just like, oh my goodness, can you um, show me some upper body exercises that I can do? Cause she had no idea like how to work out, like proper stance and none of that stuff. So it was just like, for me, it was just like, it was like one of those things where you kind of pay it, like you want to pay attention to. It was like, this is what I need to be doing. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I had that moment when I, um, when she walked up on me and she asked me to train her and she stayed with me throughout the whole session um, that I was working out. And she was just so encouraging, but she listened, which was the biggest thing. Like she was such a big listener and just super open. She was just um very like i said very observant she took everything that i was telling her um and listened to what i was saying and she just she did an amazing job so shout out to nina if you ever come across my vlogs or if you ever like see me again i hope that i've helped you in some way um and i hope that i was a big help to you so anyway Moving forward, the last couple of days, I've been coming across a lot more women that wanna work with me, that want me to train them. And so to me, I like to take things on, like I like challenges. And so I know that I'm a busy mom and I know that, you know, I'm busy with vlogging and doing many other things. Like I have so many things y'all gotta get ready for, I'm telling you, like y'all gonna be so excited and just so proud of me. But um, if you're like true supporters and, you know, fans of me and what I stand for, then yes, girl, we got a lot going on. And I'm super, super grateful and just appreciative that God gave me this vision. But yes, y'all. So anyway, um, I've had um, many other people come to me for like help or my services and stuff like that. So I took it upon myself to open that door of training someone. But I, I, I want to say I want to take on two people, but so far I only got one girl who's willing to let me train her for six or four weeks. She want to do four weeks just because she want to see how it goes and stuff like that. But she is willing to let me train her and I'm just super excited for it. I'm just up for the challenge. I'm super excited for it and I cannot wait to see her progress along with my progress because like i told her we're a family um we got you know we got things coming and we're gonna speak everything into existence so apart from that um so what i'm about to share with y'all is my little baby my own brand that i'm putting together it's called um i already got like the logo the llc for it and all of that stuff so the brand that I put together is a fitness brand and it's called Stay Fit. So Stay Fit, what is Stay Fit? Stay Fit, Stay Fit. That's like my second baby. Now that I got that under wraps and like I kind of like, you know, shared that little bit of information with you guys, just stay tuned. Stay tuned on my Instagram channel so you guys can keep up with my journey, my entrepreneurship journey, the brand, all of that stuff. All right, y'all, so I am on my way to the gym. And it's, let's see, 8.07 right now. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh, well, 8.08. So, it's 8.08. And it's not that bad out. I'm surprised it's not colder. So yeah, I'm on my way to the gym and Let's get it. Mm. 
Yeah, look who is finally woke. Look who is finally woke. He is hungry, so I gotta feed my baby. He just woke up. He been sleep for a minute, like he was sleep for a little minute, for like two hours. He was knocked out. He was knocked out for two hours. So I'm going to feed him y'all and then finish cleaning up. Bubba, give, give me that remote. Thank you. Can I let it go? Little chump. Come on. Come on, baby. Look at y'all favorite nephew. He just be walking around the house, y'all. Not even 10 months old. He just be walking. This his house. This is his house. Not even 10 months old, baby. He be just, he don't even crawl no more, y'all. My baby then grew out of the crawling stage. He is walking, up and walking. And he does this all day. I'm telling y'all, all day long. Just walk from room to room. He be up here one minute playing with his toys. Then he go back in his room and just be walking all, and each, each room, he go in the bathroom, the kitchen. But watch him, look at him. Watch how he get up. Let me show y'all. Come on, boo-boo. Come here. Come here, baby. Look, see. what I say? He does not crawl no more. He just gets up and starts walking. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Boo-boo. 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 Nine months fully walking, fully grown walking, y'all. I can't wait to, I need to take you outside to see if you still walk the same. Y'all wanna know the funniest thing about this? He talking too. Y'all wanna know what's funny though? He say that all day long, all day. He started off saying mama, he was saying mama a lot more than he was saying dada. Now, all you hear all day long throughout the whole house. Nada, nada, nada. Look, he laughing. Nada, nada, nada. What about mama? Can you say mama? <laughs> say mama? Say mama? <laughs> boo boo. Can you say mama? Boo boo. <laughs> Mama <laughs> See we ain't been in here but five minutes and they already getting me undressed. Come on. Let's call some dead dead. Let's call dead dead. Screaming. 
to the top of his lung. You were screaming. Nothing. They just tried to measure his head and check his weight. He ain't getting no shots today. All right. Hi, big boy. Look at him sitting all by himself. He's walking. No. <laughs> walking? Yes. Let me show you a video. Like walking without support? Yes. Let oh, my goodness. You can walk for a while, too. That's amazing. That's really early. <laughs> yeah. Where are you going, mister? That's what you doing all that yelling. What are you doing all that yelling and hollering? Alright, Ma, okay. you're good, okay? Okay. Black cry, baby. I was just telling his dad, like, <laughs> he is terrible with people. Now, I mean, are you smiling now? Because you know you finna go. <laughs> See, you so old, you so funny. Funny actor, yeah, he's so funny. Now you want to smile. Stop all that You like, because I know I'm waving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then we gotta plug it up. Plug it up. I'm gonna look like it's dirty too. Okay. The little thing on the end. Over there, you can bite the other side. Man, I, it was too much bread. I, we can make those at home. That's for game. Drill. Yes, it is. It look, it don't look too heavy neither. Got a charger in the inside. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me open it up for y'all. So this is the charger's cord and a little base for it to hang in. What are we doing today? We are moving my son. I moved my son to his own room today. It's gonna break our little hearts. 
I'll be acting like I want my son to be gone, but no. Let me talk to the folk, y'all. Right y'all, guess what we are doing today? O M G. Today is a big day. Today is a big day. Today is a big day, y'all. Today, Bobo gets his own room. <laughs> so, we're going to change this room up. So, this is going to be our son's room. So, the media room will be no more. Well, I ain't going to say it's not going to be no more because I think we still going to be in here. Like, we're going to keep the computer and everything in here. Yeah. And that's yeah, unless unless we figure it like better to put it in the other, you know. Right. Like if it's if it's better time and if it's better, you know, we, because you gotta think about it. He go to sleep at seven o'clock and you be working here sometimes till eleven, twelve o'clock, so it might be better for us to move it out. I'm doing something right. <laughs> I think I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway yes i've been up since like 4 4 30 i think and i'm just getting up because like i said i can't sleep and i got a lot of stuff on my brain and so like this is the time like whenever i have a lot on my mind or like when i'm thinking about the brand or work or whatever i need to like be writing so i got my journal and yeah i'm just working right now trying to trying to feed my brain trying to get these thoughts onto the paper trying to make them manifest you feel me so that's what we doing right now even though i didn't even go to bed until like 
11 something because I had to come home. I had to take a shower and all that stuff. But I'm going to get back to work so I can be quiet so I won't wake up my son. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, let me take y'all in the kitchen. Now that everyone is up, it's about 12. Well, it's around 12 o'clock. And um, I got y'all on the table, so it's kind of hot and elevated. So, yeah, everybody is up. As you guys see me working, I was working earlier on some stuff, which I cannot wait to show y'all and like just, I cannot wait to show y'all and um, hold on, that's my coffee. <laughs> yes, y'all, but I am so excited. Oh my goodness, it just seemed like all my hard work is, excuse my hair, I'm about to take my hair down, so don't come for me. But it just seemed like all of my hard work is at least being noticed and acknowledged and it's soon gonna pay off and I just cannot wait for that um for that blessing man i've i've been working so 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 hard y'all the fitness is going crazy i know y'all can see the gains in my arms look at this like i was never able to see like a little definition in my muscle like that and you can you can just tell like look at that it's it's growing it's looking good body getting right body getting together so yeah, um, the thing that I didn't mention to you guys, like I, I was trying to mention it to y'all in the beginning of the video, but I kind of like, you know, was wording things like every, I was going around what I was trying to say, but basically I wanted to challenge myself and I wanted to go ahead and take on two women to become like, to essentially become part of my journey, right? But I really want to like form a community based on women just coming together, women supporting each other, women taking their fitness seriously, looking good, feeling good. Like nobody feels good when you gotta cover certain parts of your body or when you gotta do certain things or when you know you you know you've been sitting in the house all summer or all winter, you know, eating and snacking here and there and here it is. It's about to be spring, it's about to be summertime and you're uncomfortable. Like that's not a good feeling and, I, and I've dealt with that for so many years. And so this is the year and this is the time where I'm like, I need to do something about it. And also, you know, if I can help bring others along with me just to, you know, add to the journey or the experience of staying fit, like the brand, if I could bring women to support that movement, why not but um yeah i feel so much better but until enough of that we're about to be positive so i want to do a banded full body workout and then later on i'll be going to the gym but i'm also doing some business stuff so you guys will see that soon change up now everybody better pay up elevator on my way up pay up that put a feet up all right child so the last time y'all see me i was um doing a at home workout i just took a little break because i'm actually in the process of taking down my hair now i'm just eating this salad i got some red bell pepper some yellow bell pepper spinach chicken breast tomato and guacamole <laughs> i had to think about everything and then i'm using this balsamic balsamic i think that's how you say it balsamic vinaigrette dressing let me show y'all because it's bomb oh this is the salad dressing that i'm using and it's so good so if y'all want to try this it's the balsamic vinaigrette dressing and it's only 70 calories and it's super good excuse me so yeah after i finish eating i'm gonna finish taking down my excuse me finish taking down my hair hopefully i finish in a little bit because i do have to get back to work so i'm going to show you guys also that process so
Oh, okay. I thought we all right thank you um i was calling because i had um an email for my ein number but i i can't find it so i was just trying to see if you guys could give me the ein over the phone yes yeah, yes that's all right yes ma'am it does It's called Stay Fit Apparel. A R E L. The owner. Do you have any um, brands that you uh, that you like interested in, or like, or that you have that you want to promote? Anything? For me. Uh huh. Oh, um, I do, but, you know, by me being on the phone. Oh, all right. I, I can't discuss. Okay. All right. Because I'm actually vlogging, too. So, I was going to shout you out <laughs> and look it up. Because I love supporting people. That's what oh, it's I all about. I wish I could. Um, they, they've been on us about that lately. So. Oh, dang. I'm just trying to keep it at a minute. Yeah. Well. I did send, I did send verification in her house and I do have your name your business name and mine so um, I'll be on the lookout thank you and what's your name my name is Miss Johnson Miss Johnson all right thank you so much have a great day you too bye bye period shout out Miss Johnson because she was cool as fuck. and yeah I wish I wish she was able to tell me her um, info because I definitely would support her. But yeah, I'm trying to set up my EIN for the website so you guys will be able to purchase these items that's going to drop soon. I don't know. I don't have a date. I don't have a specific time and date yet. But just be on the lookout for everything stay fit. Just make sure to, you know, keep your eyes peeled. Just be on the look. <laughs> Be on the lookout because it's going to drop and it's going to be lit, okay? Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone's family is doing great um, and everyone is being productive. But let's just hop right into the video. So this morning, it is, what is today? I think it's, it's Tuesday and it's February 21st and... This is my first time picking up my camera in like a couple of days. I'm not gonna cap. Um, yeah, y'all. So, right now, I am just jotting down some notes. Just going through my week and just trying to plan ahead. Just so I can stay on top of everything. Just so um, I know what I'm doing. Because like the last couple of days, I've been pretty much falling behind. And, um, yeah. So, I got my notebooks. And like I said, I'm just uh, jotting down some notes and going through my schedule. But that is what my morning is consistent of. So I'm just trying to plan ahead and plan accordingly because I have many things that I'm working on and I want to stay on top of everything. But let's just talk about the like couple of days and like the weeks that I've been having. Um, yeah, so I've been feeling the pressure of everything lately. Like me working out me just um trying to execute a business trying to be a stay-at-home mom trying to just do everything and it's just really been getting to me I've been feeling so much pressure and just been feeling so overwhelmed that it really just made me not want to get on camera because like like y'all know how it is I'd rather just stay to myself in my own little bubble until I get to a point where I can be around people and be happy and you know like talk and be like a socialite and when I'm not feeling that way and when I got a lot of things on my mind like it just becomes too much for me and so that's really just been what's been going on 
um, and just stopping me from picking up the camera. Like I said, I've really been diving deep into my fitness business and I really just haven't really had time to pick up the camera and I just been avoiding my camera, honestly. I've been avoiding talking to you guys and just letting you guys see that side of me. And then, like I was telling you guys, I had took it upon myself to want to train two women but that's a whole nother story. We can get into that later. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better. We're going to try to make the best of it. And we're going to try to be productive and try to be um, joyful and just happy for everything. You know, just, just be thankful and grateful for everything.